Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to share some interesting thing which I found uh, recently. Uh, this thing is uh, related to working with images in Adalo. First let me show something to you. So you see this is a collection of images uh, of nature and let's for example take this image and uh, you see this is an image and there are eight buttons here and I, this is, you may guess what these buttons do. Let's test. So now you can see the image is blurred. Now it's pixelated. Back to original. Let's put some border around the image. Uh, well, this is an old one taken ages ago, but the mount is, is still where, there. And uh, flip it upside down. Or maybe let's put a watermark uh, on the image. And as a final step, I want to download the image and save it to my computer. So you may wonder how does it work, as it's not a pretty standard Adalo features. Uh, is it a custom action? Is it something like that? Uh, well, I will not keep a secret. Uh, here is how I found these features. Uh, they're not official, but they may work for some time at least. So uh, this is the URL from uh, which this image is downloaded. And you'd see these small uh, letters imagex.net. And then there is the address for the, of the image. So in fact, imagex is a big uh, uh, storage for uh, the system for storing and delivering images. And there is a whole uh, rendering API documentation for imagex. Uh, to make uh, their users be able to manipulate the images. And this documentation is pretty big and very interesting. And uh, when I discovered this, I decided to search it and uh, find some interesting effects, which I, I have just shown to you. Uh, so uh, let's get back to the uh, Dello app uh, and uh, I will explain each of the feature uh, and the whole structure, how it works. So uh, as you can see, there are two screens here. This is a regular image collection and you can see it's image list and this is a collection called uh, EX5 photos. And uh, from this screen, uh, uh, by clicking on the list, I get to this uh, view, view screen where I uh, show the image and buttons. So the image source is set to URL. Instead of going to database, uh, photo and photo, I use URL and uh, I can get the URL of the photo from the collection. It's current photo, photo, URL. And then uh, I add the additional parameters uh, using ampersand uh, to manipulate the uh, how image looks. Uh, the fact is that when image, uh, why do I add ampersand but not uh, question mark? Uh, it is because that uh, in URL question mark already exists. So I don't need to add a question mark. So you, uh, I just need to add uh, one of the parameters is already stored there. And uh, I add additional parameters. Uh, to manipulate with parameters, I use the specific uh, input. So I put it here, uh, it's, uh, as you can see, params storage input. It, it's, it's a very small input. It's a usual trick to store something uh, temporary. I could have stored that in user's collection for as a user property, but I decided to do it uh, with uh, input uh, this time. So, and I simply add uh, what's uh, stored in that input uh, to this uh, URL. And as a result, I get uh, the uh, image which has been changed according to these parameters. Uh, not the image itself, but its presentation to user. So uh, let's uh, check each of these buttons, how they work. Uh, yes, why image is being re, uh, reloaded? Uh, because the way Adela works is upon uh, uh, the entering, uh, when the button is clicked, uh, the uh, there is a kind of a reload event for entire screen and then uh, the new parameters are being applied uh, to the image so the, um, the uh, it changes so original one as you can see uh, i change input value i do put the empty value there so there are no additional parameters for blur there is a specific parameter 
uh, called blur. So I add ampersand uh, blur equals to 30. I could say blur to 50 and we'll see that later. Uh, with pixelate, uh, it's the same. Uh, so there is a pixelate parameter, px, let's make it 40. Uh, with the border, it's a little bit more complicated. Uh, there are several parameters in uh, this uh, for this uh, uh, for this option. So you see that border color, border radius inner, and border radius outer, and uh, uh, you can all find this uh, here in this documentation. Uh, so. For sepia, uh, it's again very simple. Sepia, maybe I'll make it 30, so not that old photo. Uh, with the flip, uh, I change the parameter to, this is height and uh, the horizontal and vertical, just maybe keep horizontal. Uh, with the watermark and download, uh, it's a little bit different. Uh, let's start with watermark. Uh, the way watermark work, works is that uh, I use the sandbox image uh, from ImageX itself. So there is a specific page called uh, watermark. So watermark image URL, there is a whole documentation here. And uh, you can edit this in sandbox. And when you can go to sandbox, uh, there is a whole uh, set of parameters. So actually this applies to the uh, this uh, rectangle, uh, these parameters, and these uh, apply to the uh, text. So at the end, you get this long uh, base64 encod encoded string. So, and the thing which you need to do is to copy everything starting from here and to here. You don't need this uh, part because this is the uh, original image uh, being modified. And then uh, you need to put this string to uh, this uh, watermark uh, value. Uh, you see it's very, very long. So in order to modify a uh, watermark, uh, let me, for example, change the text to uh, Access not allowed. And you see that there should be pluses in between. And uh, here's the result. And then I copy everything starting from this. Copy it to here. And uh, start it with ampersand. Uh, and to uh, finish, uh, how download works. Download works a little bit differently. So uh, this is an action on download, the external link. Uh, so it's linked to website. And in the website URL, uh, I use uh, this current photo photo URL and I add ampersand DL. So this means that uh, this image should not be opened in new tab, but, uh, or new window, but downloaded. So, now you understand how this has been set up. Uh, let's see the changes just out of curiosity. Uh, so it's, okay, let's do the same image because you may remember. So blur, now it's blurred, pixelate. Yeah, super pixelated as you can see. Border was the same, sepia. Well, not that old at the moment. Flip, yeah, flip just horizontally. And uh, watermark, uh, yes, instead of restricted, it's not allowed. So uh, this is the way you can manipulate uh, images in Adalo. Again, uh, I have just discovered that recently. Uh, there is no official documentation about that. And of course, if uh, image provider changes, these uh, capabilities will disappear. But uh, I hope that uh, it will, this image provider will remain for some time and we can use these hints to work with images and deliver interesting results to our users. Thank you and uh, see you soon. I will make some more videos soon. Thank you.